Once upon a time, an enlightened master named Tapobana lived in a small village. He had a disciple who served him with irreproachable diligence. The disciple's earnest dedication was the only reason Tapobana kept him around, for the disciple was not the sharpest tool in the shed. In the quiet humdrum of the village life, Tapobana and his disciple lived a life of quiet simplicity. The disciple, though not blessed with great intellect, made up for it with his unwavering loyalty and dedication. He served his master with such sincerity that his name became synonymous with diligence. As time passed, whispers began to circulate. Words of a miracle performed by the seemingly ordinary disciple drifted like the wind through the village. The villagers spoke in hushed tones, their eyes wide with awe and disbelief. News reached Tapobana that his disciple had walked on water, a feat he accomplished by repeating his master's name with every step. Intrigued and slightly surprised, Tapobana summoned his disciple and questioned him about the rumors. The disciple, with a serene smile, confirmed these whispers of water walking and explained, It was due to your sacred name, master, that I could perform such a feat. With each step, I chanted your name and the waters bore me. Upon hearing this, Tapobana was swept up in a wave of revelation. He thought, if my disciple, with his limited understanding, can walk on water by invoking my name, what miracles could I, the master, not perform? A newfound confidence surged within him, the likes of which he had never experienced before. The possibility of untapped powers, hidden within his own name, excited him. Tapobana, filled with newfound confidence in his powers, rushed to the river to test the miracle himself. His heart pounded as he approached the river, ready to step into the unknown, guided by the power of his own name. With an unwavering belief in himself, Tapobana stepped onto the river, repeating me, 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 with each step. His conviction, however, was not enough to keep him afloat. Instead, he sank. The river, indifferent to his self-proclamation, swallowed him without a second thought. It was a humbling sight, a master succumbing to nature's whim, his ego left drenched and shivering on the river bank. This was a moment of profound realization for Tapobana. He had mistakenly believed that his inherent power was the source of the miracle. But the truth was far from it. It was not about him. It was about the faith his disciple had placed in him, a faith that was pure, unselfish, and devoid of ego. In that moment, Tapobana learned an invaluable lesson. Mastership arises when you learn to dissolve into existence, not when you are full of yourself. The day you are not, you will be the master. If you are, then there's still work to be done. You cannot be the master. Only when you are absent does the master become present in you.